Hello Scorpio, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. So Scorpio, this is uh, this is a reading for a period of starting from 15th of June till 30th of June. This in this reading, Scorpio will see what is your energy, what you need to know regarding your love life. Okay, this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Scorpio, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment on below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I'd also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. Alright? Let's get started now. I'm shuffling the cards. I'll lay them down and then we'll discuss the energies. So what you need to know for the period starting from 15th of June till 30th of June, Queen of Pentacles. You're focused on money management. You're focused on your pentacles. You're focused on something specific. Uh, either a specific lifestyle that you want to have and you can have that lifestyle with the help of money. You're focused on your monthly income, daily income. You're focused on your efforts. You're focused on uh, how you can achieve the money related targets with your efforts. The focus is on money and materialistic things and a lifestyle that you want to have. I see you putting a lot of efforts. Okay. Three of Pentacles. Yes, you're clearly trying to build something. You have long term vision. You have long term plans. You have big goals. Okay. With Three of Pentacles, I clearly see that your goals are big. Maybe you want to build an empire. You want to go big. You don't want to remain mediocre. Okay. There is a strong leap of faith that you want to take. And of course, you want to do this with the help of people around you. I feel like for next five years or 10 years down the line, there is something big that you're trying to achieve. Okay. Then we have two of swords. Hmm. I feel that you're trying to decide your priorities, Scorpio. Okay. Whether you want, I mean, of course your priority is money right now. But there is also something else that is demanding your attention or there is an intuitive nudge that you're feeling from inside and you're feeling like I want to focus on money but that solely money cannot be my priority. There is something else also I need to take care of and maybe uh, two of swords there is a huge water body behind this lady. Okay, so probably you want to take care of your emotions as well. Maybe you're single for long or maybe you're craving for love but maybe you're ignoring that feeling of yours. Okay, nine of wands. You are ignoring your other feeling because maybe you grew up in a family where either you have seen a lot of financial issues while growing up you lost someone like your parents, you lost someone and you have seen a lot of financial hardships while growing, growing up and that's why you want to uh, uh money is always a priority for you you want to take care of money and mon money related issues but then maybe you also have developed a romantic interest in someone or maybe someone has developed romantic interest in you they are indicating that they are romantically interested in you but you are ignoring them because you have seen a life without money and you have seen what kind of hardships you have been through and you don't want to waste your time uh not waste your time you don't want to go through those hardships all over again and that's why there is some sort of fear related to money okay uh, so you also kind of grew up in an environment where earning money was the importance of earning money was so much in that environment because without money there were a lot of hardships and you have seen that side of life so that is why deviating from your goals of related to money or having a certain lifestyle that kind of creates a lot of nervousness inside you and when you think about love or romance uh, that also kind of creates a lot of fear inside you like what if I get into love and romance and what if I shift my priorities what if, what if I make 
love and romance as my priority and ignore money or what if i make love and romance as my priority and ignore other things in my life okay so that fear is too much within you right now you want love but the fear around love because the priorities might shift is too much nine of cups although a wish fulfillment is coming towards you and that's why you're not able to ignore the love six of wands someone is coming towards you to win your heart scorpio someone is certainly coming towards you nine of cups is giving me an energy that whoever this person is this is your soulmate or perfectly the person that you want person of your dreams this person might be uh, someone from a distance someone has hurt you real bad okay there is a lot of fear someone has hurt you that uh you know they they used you they probably ghosted you multiple times they broke your heart multiple times and in a way you you lost faith in love and romance okay and uh, although you want love but the insecurities related to love and relationships are not kind of allowing you to take a strong leap of faith okay although like i said this person is a wish fulfillment of yours this is the person that you always wanted okay let's let's pull out some more cards and let's see we have justice this is the person with whom you will feel that yes you can also enjoy love and relationship connections you can enjoy a connection where there is strong love and relationship okay love is meant to be enjoyed five of pentacles you have some sort of a pattern scorpio like where you're almost about to achieve certain things but either some or the other thing happens and then you have to give up that or you walk away out of fear when you're almost near to your end goal when you almost feel like a relationship is about to become successful something happens and that relationship breaks down or you yourself you walk away from that connection out of fear because it becomes too much for you to handle because you probably feel like i've never seen such a successful relationship and i don't know how to handle a successful relationship and some other the other day this this successful relationship is going to break down so before it actually breaks down whenever it is meant to break down i'll break it away right now only there is there is a pattern that is going on in your life and you are mad and crazy about love but you fear love so much you're advised to take that strong leap of faith come what may stick to it till the meant it is meant to stay till the day it is meant to stay stick to that connection till the uh, till the day it is meant to stay don't give up beforehand only you kind of give keep on giving up beforehand yes lot of opportunities are coming towards you okay you want love love is coming towards you scorpio love is coming towards you the the exactly the perfect match is coming towards you exactly the way you want this person to be exactly that way this person is coming towards you why are you running away i simply feel like you are running away and this money and all that stuff it's it's probably even an excuse for you to run away like am i shifting my priorities no you 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 try to escape love and romance because you fear that you might get hurt because you, you fear that this this probably this relationship will cr crumble in the future anyway so let me exit right now only you actually exit even before uh before the date when the relationship is meant to exit or you don't even know whether it is going to uh, whether this connection is going to end or not you simply exit before and only don't even give and you don't give your 100% that's what i am feeling the fear the insecurities that you have they are not allowing you to give the 100% maybe okay so bottom line is yes certainly someone is coming towards you and stick stick with this person stay in this connection this is something that you want you will see the joy in this connection okay all right i hope this resonates hit like share and subscribe comment down below the link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and this person all right take care and bye bye